Okay. Hi, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of Work You Love. Um, this is Sparky, if you can see his little furry behind here. And um, I'm really, really excited that it's 2019 because why? Oh my goodness, because I'm launching this show, the Stress Less Career Show. And so um, today I just want to start with you know, the very first show of 2019, talking about intentions. Why do you need intentions or why should you set intentions so that you can have a less stressful career and therefore life? We spend one third of our lives at work. And if we're stressed at work, chances are we're going to bring that stress home to our families, to our loved ones, to our friends. And so the importance of setting your intention is because oftentimes I hear this time after time after time that we say we fall into a career path. We fell into a job after college and then we got experience and then we took that experience and then we got another job because we didn't really like the first job. So maybe just a new organization would solve our problem, right? And then we took that experience and then we got another job because we didn't like that other job either. And then we got another job, right? And so what happens is we end up 10 years into a career, five years into a career, 20 years into a career that we didn't even want to be into the, you know, be in to begin with in the first place. How does that happen? Because we, it happens because we don't have true intentions in our lives, especially in our careers. Our only intention, I hear this time and time again, I need more money, I need more money, I need more money. Well, I'm here to tell you that money is not enough. And I think all of you know that. Um, there's so many sayings about money out there that it's not, it's not always going to fill the soul. Yes, there is a stat. I think it's like 75K if you make more than that. You know, it does increase your level of happiness. But beyond 75K, if you make a million or whatever, you're going to have to quote me on that. You're going to have to Google that article because it was a good one. Anything beyond that specific salary number doesn't actually make a difference in your happiness. So that literally proves that beyond a certain number, money can't buy you peace of mind, happiness, that partner that you want, whatever it is, it can't do it. It can buy you a massage, right? It can buy you some other things, so knowing that groceries are going to be there for you. But it's not going to buy the thing that fuels your soul. So it's the beginning of 2019. It's January 2019. If you're watching this later, I know there are going to be a few of you who are watching this after the fact. It's okay. This is still relevant to you. So setting your intentions is incredibly important. Now you can take it in small steps, right? You can say, I'm going to just start by setting my intention on a day to day basis. Or you can say, okay, I'm going to set it on a monthly basis. I'm going to set it on a quarterly basis. I'm going to set it on an annual basis, or I'm just going to look at my life's intention. What do I want to get out of my life while I'm here? And so I like to, at times like this, when it's, you know, the beginning of a year, I like to think about my intentions for the year. And there are different categories in your life that I think it's really clearly important that you focus on, right? So this is the Stress Less Career Show. Obviously, I'm going to say intention in your career is incredibly important. Usually around this year, we get intentions around body. We get intentions around body. We get intentions around body, right? We hear so much about, I got to lose weight. I got to hit the gym. I got to do all of this. But this year, I invite you to take a different perspective and say, what is my intention in my career aside from money? Yes, money can be part of your intention, but what is it that you want to feel? What is it that you want to have? What is it? Who is it that you want to work with? What is your real intention? And once you create that intention for 2019, what it creates for you is a path. It creates a beacon of light so that you know you can ask yourself the question, is this going to lead me to this intention? Is this action? Is this job? Is this thing? Is this relationship? Whatever it is, is it going to lead me to this intention in this area of my life, in my career? If the answer is yes, of course, please, yes, go for it. Give it everything you've got. Put, the, you know, put materials together. Do what I'm looking at, Sparky. Do whatever you got to do to make it happen. If the answer is no, abandon ship. That's how we end up in careers that we didn't even want to be in in the first place. So this 2019, this 
January 2019, please set aside some time to think about the different areas of your life. Don't forget your career to create intentions so that you have a clear, solid path that you know you need to follow in 2019. Sparky's agreeing with a good itch. He's like, all right, all right. <laughs> so set that, that intention. Create that path for yourself, and you'd be shocked. You will be shocked at what you can create in 2019. All right, so guys, I'm doing these videos every single week. I'm still working on exactly what time I'm going to do them. They're, they're going to be hopefully at the same time so you can tune in live. And um, I love, love, love you. In case you haven't heard it today, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're the smartest person I know. You can do anything that you put your mind to. Um, so I will see you guys next week and happy 2019.